Welcome to the Marcus White Show. I wash my hair on Tuesdays and Fridays. So twice a week. Now I got one more week. Which is this week? And it's Tuesday. And then it's time for a prime. Okay. Um, I already heard about this. I forgot where I heard this. Was it him? The family phone. Maybe it's his brother. Okay. Somebody found UFO in the backyard. As I was watching this, it was at two or three o'clock in the morning, you know, sitting in the backyard. I don't care. Okay, I do see a light. The problem is I don't care. I'm going to act like that's a street light. I think I have a whisker of hours that turns things into it making sense. Now it's going to turn into a plane if a UFO comes towards me. I see a light. It's a street light. I don't give a fuck. If I see an alien, that is in It's 3D Studio Max. I went to school for animation. They said, you are supposed to be turning into a witch. Why not turning into a witch? Turn her, make her, because I, uh, I would draw them. They keep looking at me like, why are you not making her move? I'm not making her move. I actually know that this witch crap is true. I am a reverse witch. I just kill all powers. So I saw her moving, I was like, hold it up. Because I draw girls a lot. Don't move. Do not move, okay? My, my teacher said, come punk ass over here. He punched me in the stomach. He says, that damn stomach. I said, yes, it's, I'm a sex demon. That's what I am. I'm a sex demon. I'm not human. It is just sex. And I would like to have sex with you. Um, not Noah Jacob, his brother. I don't know his name. And your brother, too. Okay. It's all green. Okay, but anyway. If I see something I'm having sex with. Like, the thing is. Like, y'all don't want to come on me. I'm going to waste all your time. The whole government is on my side. They're just going to turn you into a human. In danger under my domain. I didn't ask you to be there. Anyway, look. I fucked everything up. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, um, I thought I had the headphones on. No, I didn't. But anyway, that's why that's what I feel about this. I already heard about this. I think it was... I think I watched this already. I hope I did not. Sorry if you can watch this. This is my reaction. That's how I feel about it. I just feel like super nice. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. The thing talked to me through the TV. A lot of the celebrities talk to me through the TV. Why does it happen? All I'm going to do is try to have sex with you. What is the point? Of this reality, the sex. Why are y'all making it a popularity contest? Because it's sex. So I'm like, they talking about I'm gonna take all this and that. I'm gonna take all my clothes off. So um, I don't get it. Hold up. Oh yeah, I'm trying to say this hat. You go for talks to me to the TV. I was like. Um, you're not getting none of these bacon and eggs. I don't know what you want. 
They want you. Of course you do. Okay. Yeah. I don't want you, your 2D character. Here we go. I hope I didn't watch this already. I think I did. <clears throat> capturing a falling UFO landing in a family's backyard. Now, I'm not gonna lie, with my friend. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another reaction on this channel. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be reacting to police body cam footage capturing a falling UFO landing in a family's backyard. Okay, yeah, I did see this. Now, I'm not gonna lie, when my friend first sent me this post, I honestly thought it was just like a click. I was watching in the backyard. Maybe they erased my memory. <clears throat> okay, now I remember. Um, my ex, I felt like my ex said, okay, just to make him forget that he heard this already. Do they want me to do a a lame ass reaction. It was stupid. Bait post made for a little bit of clout. A lot of people like to make up stories related to UFO and alien. You don't want it to be the first time. Sightings, we see it all the time. But I'm not gonna lie. As I started watching full videos related to this content right here, it genuinely started to intrigue me. So make sure you guys do watch this video to the end. Leave a like down below and subscribe. <laughs> It is the police call everybody will be talking about. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. I'm Brian Loftus. A family says something crashed into their backyard, prompting them to call 911, saying they saw creatures walking around. Our 8 News Now investigators digging into this for weeks now. And tonight, our David Charns with the video you will only see on 8 News Now. David? Brian Denise, sources telling the 8 News Now investigators that several agencies believe something landed or crashed. Whether it was non-humans or not, it certainly scared the people living on this property. Now, before we show you that video, listen to their call for help. There's like an eight-foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. Okay, where is this on your property? Uh, uh, in my backyard. And I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actually we, so there's two, we terrified of it. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. <laughs> big eyes, they have big eyes. Like, okay. like I can't explain it. And big eyes out. They're shiny eyes, and, and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. No. Okay. Well, the eight news now investigators obtaining. Bro, imagine being a, a, a respondent and getting a call like that. Like, what do you even do? Like, what do you think? Obviously, there are people who like to prank call police. Obviously. But it doesn't sound like that's a prank call. It sounds very genuine. That's crazy, bro. I wouldn't. As officers know then responded to the call you just heard, you'll see the officers also saw something in the sky that night. But the big question is what was it? What was it? And bro? is it all connected? It's almost midnight on May 1st when a Las Vegas Metro Police officer's body cam catches this, something flashing low in the sky. 911 emergency. Minutes later. There's, a, there's like an eight-foot person beside it and another one's inside and it has big eyes and looking at us and it's still there. Someone calls 911 reporting two large figures in their backyard. Uh, no, I'm so nervous right now. The 8 News Now investigators obtaining another officer's video as he sent to the Northwest Valley home. I have butterflies, bro. Uh, I've only thought of shooting star, then these people say there's aliens in their backyard. By now, it's more than an hour after that an bright light. Hour, officers bro? meeting up with the caller and his family. What'd you see? It was like a... Like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like a little top. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you see anything land in, in your backyard? Or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. Police walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro blacked out that part of the video because it's considered private property. What's clear. Bro, I'm not going to lie. If you were so interested in finding out what was going on, why did it take you an hour to get there? 
If I was a police officer sent to that call, I would have been there immediately, bro. I want to see what the hell it is. Like, that's insane. A lot of people ask me in the comment section, do I believe in aliens? Absolutely. There is absolutely no way in the entire universe that we're the only living beings amongst different planets. If our solar system is so ginormous and there is different galaxies and all this extra stuff, how in the world can we be that naive to think that we're the only living beings in this, on the, in this universe, bro? Like, I feel like aliens are actually way more advanced than we are to a point where that they can come land in the backyard and then be gone, have no trace. Like, how the fuck is that possible? If anybody were to crash a plane, crash a helicopter in someone's backyard and get out and stand like this, they're going to find you, bro. We already know who you are at this point. They landed and are gone in the same instant. That's insane. They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they yeah. saw. Uh, I'm normally discounted as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. That investigation turning up no concrete answers as of Wednesday. Whatever or whoever fell into that yard, long gone within minutes. Oh, hey. If, that, if, those, if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> so, yeah, this dead. is quite weird, Brian was saying, during, as we're watching this story. Now, we've been in, been in contact with the family in that video, and as you heard in that 911 call, they seem very reasonable mm -hmm. and honestly quite scared, as you heard them in the call. No, um, it, they don't seem impaired in any way. And whatever crashed by the time the police got there was gone. But sources say that there's really no dispute. Something was in their yard exactly what we do not know. I mean, it's so interesting. So, like, the metro officers see something. The neighbors see something. I mean, so what could it be? Well, we know that there are obviously a lot of military bases around this area. Uh, oh. George Knapp covers a lot of that stuff for us on the 80s oh, investigators. You're showing you drone videos. This right I here think this is, is so boring. That I'm just media coming. shit, man. This right Me here. <clears throat> they start, oh, there's obviously a couple of air bases nearby. Oh, yeah. Shut the... Yo. This right here. This is what I don't like. I really appreciated the fact that they even aired this because there are obviously some... I believe, another conspir conspiracy that I believe is that there is some connection that we have to extraterrestrial beings. I do believe that extraterrestrial beings come and visit this, this Earth. I do believe that, okay? The same way that people trade land on Earth is the same way I do believe that planets are property to other beings, okay? Now they want to cover it up with some military government bases nearby and shit. We all know that there is no military or government being that can stand 10 feet tall and disappear in a matter of minutes, bro. We all know that. Why are you trying to blame this on military bases nearby? That area. And us on the ADSO investigators, we're showing you drone video from above that area. And we know, of course, Creech not far away, Nellis Air Force Base not far. I checked in with them. They say they are not involved at all, and we are waiting to hear from the yeah, Pentagon thank as you. well. Hmm. And you talk to these people. It seemed completely legitimate to you, and, and do you have any personal thoughts on maybe what it was? Right. So it seems from talking to our sources that something happened. There was obviously some flash in the sky. A lot of people saw it that night on uh, the night of April 30th, early in the morning on May 1st. Did that exact thing land in their yard? I don't know. But these people said they saw some SUV circling the area. Could this, have, could this have been some piece of equipment that malfunctioned? Maybe they saw something and then someone came. I can't believe we're talking about this. <laughs> right. Someone came. A military base means that we do not know. And Picked retrieved it, it from the backyard in the SUV. We don't know. This all comes as uh, a former high level intelligence officer, an air a veteran, was on News Nation talking about how there is a program where the government collects some unidentified objects. So this might be that. We just don't. Bro. So then explain the eyes, explain the mouth, explain the entire 911 call. Like, explain that part to me. Once you can explain the 911 call, I will believe that. It was potentially something else, okay? But until that, there's no reason why in this entire world, a family of, it was like six people in that house, all saying that they saw it, are calling 
saying, I see a 10 foot tall person with big eyes and a big mouth. I don't know anybody who looks like that, bro. I've been on this earth for 24 years. I have not met a single soul who has big eyes that are shiny and a big mouth. I've never seen it. Listen, man. There are a lot of things. There are a lot of secrets that we don't know about. I wish that there was more content to react to related to like alien kind of stuff or like demonic type of stuff just so we can really see what goes on on different different levels of our universe whether it be spiritually which are the demons and whether it be extraterrestrially which are aliens like i really want to know what goes on in every aspect of this world because the things that we see are such like smoking mirrors it's so fake it's so surface level it doesn't even exist bro like it really doesn't even exist like social media doesn't exist the kardashian family on fucking mtv or whatever channel they are it doesn't exist that type of shit is not real Aliens, though? Like, I feel like we could be friends and shit. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like me and the aliens could be cool. Like, what y'all drink up in, in outer space? Let me get a sip of that outer oh, space. You know what I'm cool. saying? I thought it was... See what's going on up there. Where the bitch... He said demonic. Well, like he said, I don't oh, know. We don't know. I don't think it matters. Whoever just want to voyeur the planet, they just want to voyeur it. I am just spazzing with it. Uh, they probably just wanted to voyeur us. I don't care and I don't think it matters. Like I said, I don't care. It's the deepest level. And they like to hide if they're looking. And so what that means is I need to just not care. When you look at the stars, it's going to be a mystery. So. Just take care of yourself and others. Okay, yes. The others part of conflict. That. Okay, so leave a comment, like, and subscribe.